take Where a guy is here. He was supposed to wait for me at the station. Was it really a train though? Was it our imagination? Are we going crazy? Well, that's one mystery solved. It's Arthur Tillett. What's he doing in there? Where the hell did he go? Mr. Tillett, where did you go last night? Have we met? Last night at the Plough and Furrow. Oh, <laughs> Miss Bateman. <laughs> I was blind drunk last night and woke up with a stinking headache. You still smell like a brewery. I'm sorry. You went to use the lavatory and never came back, Mr. Tillett. I searched everywhere for you. I think I remember you bought me a drink. Then it's all a blur. I Guess we shouldn't have given him a morning. drink. My wife sour at me for waking her at some ungodly hour. About last night. You really don't remember where you went last night? You really don't remember where you went last night? As I say, it's all a blur. I remember needing a piss. Then... Well, that's why he went out the back way. I must have missed me when I came out. I did not. I even went to the gents' toilets to find you. Oh, I A sight for sore eyes. It was. I checked everywhere, <sighs> and you were nowhere to be found. The back door leading to the alleyway was blocked from the outside. Oh, I. Yes. You must have exited through that door, Mr. Tillett. But you just said it were blocked. There must be an explanation. My mind has drawn a blank. Why was the door blocked? I think he Did knows. you block it? I told you, I don't remember. I think he I does remember. Because I remember now. Hmm. I'm on to you, buddy. I'm on to everyone in this town. About last night. What were you going to tell me about Leonard Shoulder? Who? Who? <laughs> Leonard I Shoulder. Knew it. You told me you knew him. And promised to tell me more if I bought you a drink. Which I did. So what were you going to tell me? I, uh... Oh, I don't really know the old bugger. But you said you did. Oh, I... No, no, <laughs> I, I know <laughs> not about him. No, not about Leonard Shoulder. He's such a bad liar. I don't believe you. You're hiding something, Mr. Tillett. I don't believe you. I say a lot of things when I've got the drink in me. I probably just wanted you to buy me an ale. A likely story. Look, what would I gain from lying to you? I just wanted another drink. Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain your disappearance. I, I don't remember out. Hmm. Is Mr. Shoulder a bad guy? Let's paint him a picture of him being a bad guy. How's your headache faring? It feels like a steam engine is driving full pelt in a circle around my skull. Be sure to drink plenty of water, Mr. Tillett. Aye, aye. I'll survive. I found Mr. Shoulder's house, but he wasn't home. Don't worry. You'll find him. Thanks. So, you work here? Aye. Bewley Station Master at your service. Would you like to buy a ticket? Not just yet, thank you. I understand that some of the locals are not too happy about this new station. Aye, I'd go as far as saying the whole village. How long has the station been open for? About three months. We're on the Midland Railway Line. This employment's been a saviour for me. If I weren't stood here, I'd be drinking my life away at the pub right now. It's worth the occasional withering look from Cyril and the rest of them. Doesn't he have a relative as a gravestone? What does a station master do? A bit of this and a bit of that. I don't wish to bore you with such things. As you wish. My responsibilities here keep me on the straight and narrow. I'll tell you that much. Apparently Sense not. Sense duty can do wonders for a lost soul. Indeed. This must be a rather lonesome post to occupy. Trains pass through here more regularly than you might think, lass. 
But they don't always stop. Is that what he's saying? I'm looking for my assistant, Kenneth. Oh, why? His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train, Miss Bateman. Impossible. Was that not the midday train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here, unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. Not a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. A great big one it were, with... A red ribbon. Aye. What is Kenneth playing at sending my equipment but not himself? Curses. Huh. This is... Gonna be a bigger mystery, huh? Does nobody want to come here to Hobbsboro? Where is my crate now? Mr. Price took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above the storeroom, just north of the plow and furrow. You'll see it. There's a royal mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Oh, you've heard of his lordship then? Yes. Do you know him? Aye. He comes into the village from time to time, gives sweets to the children, hires young men to work his land. He's well liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillett. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement with his lordship. He looks after us, provided we leave him alone. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some so I've do. heard. No one is allowed to visit him. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. Good grief! Wow. But is this true? Well, I won't he's be secretive. able to find out. Maybe he's doing something there he doesn't want anyone to find out about. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Hobbs Barrow. It's why Leonard Shoulder invited me to Bewley. He thought I might like to excavate it. Oh, I. I heard about a Hobbs Barrow somewhere out there. There's some old stories around it. What stories? <sighs> Come on, man. I can't remember. Give Mr. me something Tillet, here. Please. This is important. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Bateman. I'll try to remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. I'm sure you will. In a non-scary way. <laughs> Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above the... You'll see. Oh, thank you. See him. Farewell for now. Tara. Tara, shut up. Cats and crows, man. Cyril is no doubt keeping watch on any potential new arrivals from the railway station. Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. What are you up to, Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. That's what, thankfully. No one got off the last train. Really hate that station, don't you? Oh, I curse Midland Railway for bringing their damn line through Bewley. This is our town, our land. It is no place for outsiders. So you keep saying. Anyway, no more trains today. Almost time to celebrate with an ale, I think. I could do with one myself. You pay in? Uh, no. I've already paid once. I paid twice. I found Mr. Shoulder's house today, but he wasn't home. Why the bleeding hell should I care, lass? I don't know. I thought you were a decent old man, but apparently not. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Do you know where it is? Mind your own business, lass. Jesus. You really are quite helpful, aren't you? Bah. Goodbye. Ta-ra, lass. Bah. Hmm. No one here. Really? No one willing to sell me shoes? That must be the postmaster's storeroom. He looks a little chirpier than your average Bewley resident. 
He looks rather brightly dressed. Hello. Good day. I haven't seen you in Beaulieu before. I'm just visiting. Lovely. It's nice to see a new face. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. It's because the town Lock. folks are mean. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. What a treat. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? Oh, yeah, yeah, Tom. Originally, a small town on the outskirts of Derby, Mr. Long. Though I currently reside in London. London? I've never met anyone from London. How very exciting. Have you lived there a long time? It's been quite a few years now, yes. I've heard that the air there is so heavy with smoke, it makes it hard to breathe. Is that true? Some days. Oh, you must miss the fresh northern air. Well, you've got that in Bewley. No factories out here. Such things are a blight on his creation. Oh, God, here we go. I were born in this very home I stand in front of. Bewley is in my blood. Why would I ever want to leave? Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. Your opinion of the railway station differs widely from your fellow townsfolk, Mr. Long. I've not met anyone particularly keen on it. That railway line is the start of a new era for Bewley. Mark my words, there's much to protect here, but we need new blood. I hope that some of you visitors will actually stay here permanently. Why is that? So I have new friends to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> some people here don't want any new friends. Cyril Farnaby, a miserable old sod, is the worst offender. I've had the pleasure of meeting Cyril. He really dislikes the railway station. Absolutely miserable he is. I've tried to convince him many times that the station will help Yuli. He just doesn't understand. I met him last night in the ploughed furrow. Aye, the scene of our many debates. Blimey. I could go for a nail right now, actually. Can I buy you a drink? Really? No. Wait. Do you think Mr. Kemp will let me open a tap? Perhaps. You could always ask him. Hmm. I shouldn't leave anyway. Mr. Price is relying on me to keep watch of his storeroom. Okay, Kenneth never came though, so do we have our money? Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye. Funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moor somewhere. Have you seen him recently? No. Not for a long while now that you mention it. Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. Well, I must thank him when I see him for inviting such an enchanting young woman. You flatter me, Mr. Long. See, when I ask a question, people have these really long pauses. It makes me wonder if they're trying to think of what best to say. Like, are they actually thinking how long it's been since they saw him, or are they thinking of a reasonable answer? I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. One of those old burial hills? Yes. Do you know where it is? Believe it or not, I haven't set foot on the moor since I were a child. Why is that? I've got all I need right here in Bewley. And we are all truly blessed with the railway station, which brings us lovely new faces. As it just mirrored, does he sound brainwashed? I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. Oh, Mr. Price, my lovely neighbor. I'm afraid you've just missed him. Curses. I saw him wheeling a large crate into his storeroom just there. It must be mine. I really need it. Have a look through the window to see if it's yours. Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No, by horse. He must be a few miles down the road by now. Curses. Curses. When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight. Could be a few days. How infuriating. I told him I'd keep watch of his storeroom. And I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I shall not budge from this spot. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. 
So he said, look in the window. This house looks pleasant. A warehouse. Royal Mail, Postmaster's residence. This must be the local post office. Royal Mail, this must. There's a the window. There's my crate. Kenneth always ties a red ribbon to it. I can see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Perhaps it can help explain Kenneth's absence. Maybe he has our money. I'm going to have to get in there. The postmaster isn't home. But my crate is in there. You'll have to wait for Mr. Price to get back. Are you kidding me, dude? So if someone needs their post, they can't get to it? That's... shitty. That's what that is. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Yeah, get through this door. Well, this sucks. Good day, sir. Still not talking to me. I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Kemp, but could I please open a tab? Still not in your purse? I'm afraid not. My assistant hasn't arrived as planned, so I find myself in a bind. He must have put the money in my crate, which is currently being held in Mr. Price's storeroom. Well, as you know, I run an honest establishment here, and I do trust you. So yes, I'll open an account for you. Nice. To be settled at the end of your stay. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Now then, I'll be needing something of value as a deposit. I thought you said you trusted me. Aye. It's not personal, lass. One can never be too cautious. Hmm. Maybe our mother's handkerchief? I found Mr. Shoulders home. Thanks to the help of Father Roach. Wonderful. So you've met our vicar then? Yes, I did. An interesting character. Indeed. So, did old Leonard apologize for his absence? Not quite. He wasn't home. What is that man playing at? You tell me. I've decided to find Hobbs Barrow without Mr. Shoulder's aid. Are you sure that's a wise idea, lass? Nope. What other choice do I have? I have a feeling he is avoiding me. Do you know where I can find the Barrow? No, sorry. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. My assistant has not arrived as planned. Oh, is everything all right? I'm not entirely sure. Am I to keep a room for him, just in case? If you could hold it for one more night, Mr. Kemp. As you wish. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? A most charming man, Miss Bateman. He looks after us here, a good fellow. Where does he live? Panswick Manor, on the moors. No visitors allowed. His lordship likes his privacy. How can I open a tab again? Leave All right, yeah, okay. Goodbye. See you We don't have the handkerchief anymore. Will you accept this silver cross pendant as a deposit? Can I take a closer look at it? Aye, silver. That'll do. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, not right now. Not right now, Mr. Kemp. As you were. Quit trying to get me drunk, sir. I'm glad I found Mr. Tillett. Anything amiss in here? The wardrobe looks old. Perhaps a hundred years or more in age. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, a sturdy looking thing, useful to many a weary traveler. I don't think there's anything else. I don't wish to carry the. I'm 
I'm curious about that man sitting there. He's been awfully quiet. Hello. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Not to say, except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. Yeah, I heard. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Just mind your own business around here. I really must find Hobbs Barrow. What did I tell you last time? Not to be found digging around in those things. Goodbye. Ta-ra. God damn it. I don't think anyone is home. A small plaque beside the door reads Vicarage. Oh, is the biker live there? Vicar? Sorry. Hello. Good day. Hmm. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. DePlancy. Uh, don't ask. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Yeah, no one in here. It's locked. Locked. Well then. Ugh, you guys are still here. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow. Maybe we should go back to the train station. Maybe that guy has something to say about it. I don't know. What about him? The postmaster? Does he know where he Good went? Day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. What do you make of Henry Long? <laughs> An idiot who thinks that station's a good idea. Can you imagine? Strangers pouring into Bewley. Turns the stomach, that does. Maybe he has a point. You could travel. Bah! You're an outsider. I expect you to have such a bad opinion, but Henry, he's a Bewley lad. We've had the odd Barney or two in the pub over it all. I can imagine. Can I buy you a drink, Cyril? Well? Yes. Come on then, lass. Follow me. We're just gonna buy everyone drinks now? So then, he turns around and says, Why is a dog like a tree? And I says, I don't know. And he says, because they both lose their back once they're dead. Wow. <laughs> very droll, Cyril. It's well, not very tasteful. it's been a pleasure, but I must be off. Aye, lass. Time for the drink. You're not too bad for an outsider. Thanks. <laughs> she should at least try to make friends here. I don't know what good that did other than to make friends with him. Good day. No. Yes. Oh, fossil. I noticed your spectacular fossil specimen. Oh, I, I collect them. This one is called an um, ammonite. I'm impressed, lass. From the Jurassic period, I'd venture. Do you collect them too, then? My true interests lie in comparatively modern history. Oh, I. Well, I do love a fossil. It's important to remember that we all end up in the soil eventually. I don't want to 
Thanks for your time. Think all about right. that. Speak to you later. Not all of us do. Cremation exists. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Oh, like, where's the postman? Am I supposed to end the day now? Good day. Hello, miss. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Heavens, no. Villages aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Are you sure? I really am sh Goodbye. Bye, miss. Hello? I yes What do you know about Lord Panswick? He gave me some sweets once. My friend says that Lord Panswick has special oh. trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. You think that's true, miss? I think that's very unlikely. I mean, sweets me and candy? No. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. But like sweet fruit, maybe? Hello, Nocturne. How is Nocturne? I'd rather not go into those horrible toilets again. Fair enough. Nocturne. I'm gonna have to punch you in the face. Cause I will. Good day. K is fine. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the I figure since county. you gave me a code for this Have game and I've had it no, sitting in my library for a while. I should see how it is. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Goodbye. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. I know, look at me dealing my backlog. <laughs> Meanwhile, every day I look at all the games on my wish list saying, I, I kind of want to buy that one. But I could buy that one. Maybe I should buy that one. And then I look at my library and I'm like, I don't want to play any of these games. <laughs> I'm less of a gamer and more of a game hoarder at this point. The more str I have that game. I haven't played it, but I have it. <laughs> I've got Ferrari. I haven't driven it, but I have it. <laughs> Back here. There's just nothing I can do over here. I still have the glove. I don't know why I have the glove. I want to remember where that stream was. I want to see if the children are still there or not. So 
So the boy isn't here, but the girl still is. Wally took Myrtle. Pardon? He took her and ran off. I hate that him. That little shithead. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes. My favorite. Mommy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Don't you worry, I'll kick his ass. Tell me more about the Ammon's Horn. Daddy said we should never touch it. It will make the god angry. What god? Ammon, of course. Yeah, I don't care if she is a child. <laughs> Let's let her know what it is. Jane, this is a fossil. It's a horn. What's a fossil, miss? A fossil is an impression of a prehistoric plant or animal embedded in rock and preserved in petrified form. This particular animal was called an ammonite. I'm confused. It's not a horn? No, no it's a Pokemon. It's impression of a long dead sea creature. Well, you know what I Pokemon are, are, right? He doesn't lie to me. Your father is somewhat correct. For you see, ammonites were given their name for the Egyptian god Ammon. See, I told you, it's Ammon's horn. My daddy is always right. <sighs> sure. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks That's right, fossils are like Pokemon. So just a set of Pokeballs are in the rocks. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. I would Where if I was him. Go? I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. <laughs> she sounds like me at that age. <laughs> Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... I have, yes. You have? We Finally. to talk about it. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. You will? Yes, but don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first. I miss her. I will. Goodbye. Bye, miss. So I don't know why, Nocturne. But sometimes I'm gonna assume after streaming for a while if I try to change the scene or stop a recording like OBS just shuts down. <laughs> like it's just sick of this shit. It waits for the moment I interact with it for it to be like, no. A petulant little child. Yeah, it's like I'm done. There you are. Good day. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? She kicked me! Look at this bruise on my leg! <laughs> that does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin. You don't know what she can be like. <laughs> did she kick you because you goblin. called her a goblin? I've given her to the fair folk. That'll teach her. The fair folk. So the fairy circle then? Who are the fair folk? The little people of the moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We he call does. them fair folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave them a doll. Okay. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Look, he's like looking upwards like he's 
She's done with us. Whatever you say, kid. Is it over here? No, this is where the lumberjacks are. Ah, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. over here I better not touch them they could be poisonous wouldn't it be it looks like something has been buried in yeah there. I'm not sure if the it looks like some Thomasina please stop leaving your toys lying about the place what happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? A fox ate it, madame. Yes, it did. <laughs> Fetch it now, won't you? Then I'll fix your supper. But how did she yes, know a madame. fox ate it? Foxes just don't go around eating dolls. Mr. Bowles looks cross. What's for supper, madame? It'll be nothing but a glass of water and a worm if you don't fetch your dolly right this instant. Oh my god. And then we look at the screen like, did you just hear that? Did you hear what she said to me? <laughs> All right, don't be immature. Hello. It's the gateway to the fairy kingdom. Hello, fairies. There she is. There you what are, are they on see. about? I won't let the foxes eat you. Who's that you have there, little bird? Josephine. She introduced me to the fairies. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. That's a gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. Now, listen to me, Thomasina. Yes? You're old enough now to hear this. There's no such thing as fairies or talking dolls, my little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. Well, I you are. I to make sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just Santa a doll. Claus is not real. The, the Easter do Bunny doesn't exist. exist. But, Daddy... Science is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Please always remember that. If you hear oh shit, that was spoilers for me, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Again, no, Anybody who didn't realize Santa Hogwarts. and the Easter Bunny weren't real, I'm sorry. What is it? Why does he look like Abe Lincoln? How do you know it isn't? Hogwash. Did Wally bury the doll, I wonder? Great. This must be Jane's ragdoll. Pick up a worm. Hmm. You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. Wow, okay. <laughs> Kenneth is now a worm. I've already taken one. Alright, just checking that you didn't want another one. Perhaps these wriggling worms are the fair folk young Wally was so fearful of. How strange. There is a hairpin pierced through the arm. This may come in handy. I'll keep it. At least I shall not return from Bewley empty-handed. This is a public service announcement. The K experience had no intentions of ruining anyone's childhood or giving any spoilers. Any depression or other trauma is purely coincidental. Thank you. Have a good day.
That's right, we can't be sued now. Cha, cha, cha. Why am I so mean to children? <laughs> I present to you Myrtle. I missed you so much. Now, I believe we had a deal. Hide and seek. Excuse me? Come back. That was not the deal. This is why the I hate kids. Like these, okay. I, I found the answer. Children. I'm going to steal her other dolls. They aren't mine to take. I don't care. Steal them. I don't know, but I wouldn't know who you are if you were. I think hey. I'm in the wrong stream. Here you go, little child. Oh, you are so welcome, sweetie. Isn't she just so adorably good? Like, I've been watching, I've watched some cozy streamers playing video games and they like gush about the graphics, the characters. I'm just like, I could never, <laughs> I, I could never be this person. <laughs> I can't be like, oh my god, I'm just so happy to play- No. I can't do it. I'd probably get more followers, but I just can't, okay? Jay? That won't make the entrance any bigger. No, but it'll snuff her out. <laughs> Haven't you seen Fox and the Hound? <laughs> You'd call someone because it would it'd be a cry for help. <laughs> Jane, get out of there. Don't make me come in. Fine. Okay, being cozy, this guy really is falling. Curses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. <laughs> you know, I don't mind playing cozy games. It's just like, a lot of the cozy games are, you know, those really long, either farming simulators or life simulators. And it's like, <laughs> what's... Stardew Valley. It's like Stardew Valley where there's so much stuff to do and I can't stream those games. I need a beginning and an end. I can't have a beginning then. Jane must be hiding in there, the little scamp. I'm telling you, just light it on fire. I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand. Uncovering hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. I was always happiest with a controller in my hand. Controlling characters. <laughs> death by death. That should do it. We'll grab Jane. you by the hair and pull you out. Curses. Well, the useless thing blew out. I mean, what? How is it going to help anyway? It's one match, and matches burn really quickly. Jane, come out this instant. Oh, I don't trust this. I can't see a damned thing in here. I need a light source. Watch your language. There's a child in here. I have no life sources. Jane? It's pitch black down there. I don't like the fact that she's not giggling anymore. Screw this. <laughs> oh, then she starts to giggle. Okay, sure. Thanks for your time. 
Anyone got a flashlight around here? I need a flashlight. Hairpin. It's little Kenneth. <laughs> a sharp hairpin. Could be useful. I'm done with you. Why well, do I just like never find her? She just rots away in there. I can't pry the fossil from the rock with my bare hands. The trowel is too blunt to chip away at the rock. Damn. I thought she was actually able to do something with it. The hairpin isn't strong enough to remove the fossil. Can I stab the worm with the hairpin? No, that's not it. Okay, well. Alright, so girl's over there. We can't go anywhere over there. I don't think he'd have anything to say. I have nothing else. Yeah. There's nothing else I wish to- I have one just like this. Wait. I have one just- You do? Not on you. Hello, good day. Thank you for- Lord. Does anyone have a light source? Anyone at all? I have nothing else to ask. Good day, sir. A candle. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. Perhaps Mr. Kemp will replace it this evening. I need it now, though. That candle didn't last long. I've stored my case in there. A box within a box. I've hung my side from nothing. Nothing. I've no use for ashes. Thanks again for the ale, lass. Now leave me be. He's still not nice. <laughs> Digger. Oh, I have to do. Find Jane. I need a light source to investigate further. How can I get in there without attracting too much attention? So, in order to find Hobbs Burrow, I need to. Find Jane. I feel like I've asked everyone though. Good day. Where can I find these? Follow the tide. But where is? Just listen. <sighs> don't think about. That will just bring bad luck for all of us. Are you sure you don't know anything about Hobbs Barrow? I would very much like to find it. No. Goodbye. Nobody home. God, nobody's ever home around here. The road dis- So there's nothing this way. He won't say anything to me. There's nothing in there. Unless there's like a random item I'm missing. I don't think anyone is. Can I open a window with a hairpin? Room two. The 
plow and furrow in. Hmm, no one here. Why do you talk to these two? I can't talk to this guy anymore. Where's the vicar? I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. William Modest. What a peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. No. No sign of any movement. All right, chickens. Where'd he go? Tell me, or you're a barbecue. A sweet little hen, plump and well groomed. The glove perfectly matched. Mr. Shaw, what was he doing? Rather rude of him not to come inside and see me. Hmm. Need to find a way into the postman's office since we can't figure out where the postman went. is standing right there so this house looks pleasant hello good day goodbye don't be a stranger oh wait can i buy hello. him a drink good day can i buy you a drink henry really really we can talk more at the inn but i told mr price i'd keep watch of his storeroom doors have locks for this very reason you're right one drink won't take long. There you go, I shall buddy. Take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. I'm not devious in the slightest. To think, if that station hadn't been built, we would never have met. Blessed be the Midland Railway. Right. Idiot! <laughs> that station is the worst decision this village has ever made! Cyril Farnaby, a miserable man with miserable ideas. I will change your mind even if it kills me. Idiot! I gotta see this. Someone's gonna die. I'll leave Cyril and Henry to their grand debate. I can get my crap now. He's currently debating the merits of the railway station at the inn. This house looks pleasant. Locked, as expected. I need to get inside without attracting too much attention. Okay, well, the, the guy is at the bar. Come on. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. A hairpin is much more than a hair accessory. Oh yeah. Wiggles and this lock should spring right open. That's how you open a lock, Nocturne. A few wiggles. That's it. 
Nothing to it. I've snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Lock picker. Let's open this envelope. There's a note inside. Envelope. Miss Bateman, I beg for your forgiveness. A matter of grave urgency has arisen in London, and I cannot join you in Beaulieu. I packed your usual equipment and pray you will find local assistance in my absence. I look forward to seeing you upon your return. Yours faithfully, Kenneth Murdoch. Now I feel a little bit bad about naming a worm after him. <laughs> How very frustrating. I wonder what happened. I'd better get this to the alley before Mr. Long comes back. Moving a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. Uh, no. <laughs> Somehow, no one was there to witness it. How? But I didn't give up. No one in town noticed. I never noticed. give up, do I, Mother? I am as stubborn as my father, as you liked to remind me. Wait. There's nothing in here. Where is my money? It's oh. not in here. Kenneth, you absolute liability of a man. It looks like everything else is in here. Hicks, specimen trays, shovels. Oh, my chisel, I'll take that. Ah, oh, my lantern. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. Right, in an alley. <laughs> no money and no assistant. This is most inconvenient. Still, I've been in worse situations. I've got a tab at the inn for now. I'll worry about money later. I must find that barrow and get on with the excavation. Okay, I need oil for the lamp and I got a chisel. Can I use a chisel on the ammonite? Or is it too dull? I've had this for years. It's looking like it could break at any moment, okay, really. Okay, well, that's not very reassuring. It looks like the same make as my own. It looks like the same. I need paraffin to fuel my lantern. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? I know what a puffin is. It's a bird. I only we use a puffin for paraffin though. Oh, this thing's gonna break. Splendid. I've managed to extract it in one piece. Color me surprised. We had a fossil. An exceptional ammonite fossil. Okay. of this ammonite now then tis a beauty that it looks familiar that's it hmm no that won't work I can't see how that will help me okay this must belong to someone I should leave it alone the bucket is rusty and full of holes just like my brain. <laughs> the road disappeared. I keep forgetting it's not the way I want to go.
can't think of anything. Paraffin. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. Huh. I can't see how that will help me. I don't know either, lady. That's a peculiar idea. Can I break into that guy's house? The building is in a dilapidated state. Oh. Hello. Good day. Good day. Thank you for your job. Good day, child. May the Lord be with you. What's in here? I may be a barrow digger, but I am no grave robber. <sighs> You're no fun. That's a peculiar idea. No, that's not it. That is not coming off. Hmm. I can't see how that will help me. No, that won't. That's a peculiar. That would be rather cruel to the poor worm. What do you think it's going to be used for? That would be rather- It's bait! You gotta keep it as a pet? Can't be cruel to the worms. Jane! I don't think our lantern will work. You're not even gonna try it? My lantern is empty. Kenneth didn't pack any spare oil. That fucker. Dig, worm, dig. No, that's not it. Dig through the darkness. I'll let him get on with his work. I'll let him get on with his work. Where did I get the oil from? I need to locate Abba's borrow. In order to do that, I need to find Jane. In order to do that, I need to refill the lantern. So I need to find paraffin. Noctur, where's paraffin? Tell me. The water is... I'm not sure what that would achieve. I don't know either, lady. I don't think anyone is home. I don't think anyone is home. No one's home, Nocturne. Why is nobody ever home? 
What's the point of having a house if you're not home? You know. Just never understood that. Mr. Tillett is right there. I don't give a shit. A door of fine construction. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Mr. Tillett smells strongly of beer and pipe smoke. Sexy. Good day. Yes. Lantern. I was wondering if you might be able to spare some lantern oil. I don't have much to spare, lass. Paraffin is as rare as hen's teeth in these parts. How much coin do you have? None, I'm afraid. If you're in a bind, I can trade you a small amount. A trade, you say? Aye. Ammonite? Thanks for your time. Aye. Would you trade some of your paraffin for this fossilized ammonite, Mr. Crozier? Now then, tis a beauty that. It looks familiar. I'll take it off your hands. Wonderful. Let me fetch some paraffin from inside. Why is he a burning a lantern in the there daylight? Maybe you should save your paraffin oil. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. And it wouldn't be so rare. Fossil collector. My lantern is fueled and ready for action. I'm coming for you, child. Right, let's put this lantern to good use. You know what I hate? I hate when a game's really quiet and I have these noise-canceling headphones on. <laughs> Because I can hear my heartbeat and it creeps me out. I hate hearing heartbeats. <laughs> Jane, come out at once. That is not Jane. Goodness me. If that's a honey badger, it's about to kick our butt. Jane! Silly, what are you doing in that smelly old badger's hole? You were in there. No, I weren't. Yes, you were. Not true. I was hiding behind that tree over there. I got bored of waiting for you. So where can I find Hobbs I got Hobbs bored Barrow? of trying to find you. Goes from the church graveyard up the hill. You'll see some muddy fields on the horizon. That's Mr. Bryden's farm. Hobbs Barrow is there. Don't tell any grown-ups I told you. And thanks for getting Myrtle back. My pleasure. Thank you, Jane. You've been a great help. No, she hasn't. I crawled into a badger hole. How is that a great help? As I trudged through the barren moors, with only the odd sheep for company, I reflected upon my visit to Bewley thus far. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder and his puzzling disappearance. The townsfolk of Bewley, who had made it as difficult as they could for me to find Hobbs Barrow. The suspicion, the wariness in their eyes. Only now I know it was actually fear. In the end, it was the innocence of a child, young Jane, that condemned me to my fate. Well, that doesn't sound good. 
The gate opens out into a vast tilled field. Plowed fields stretch far and wide, an unusual sight for this area. I have no desire to wander the furrows. The entrance to the farmhouse. What do you want? My name is Thomas Cena Bateman. Mr. Bryden, I presume. Aye. What do you want, lass? I understand Hobbs Barrow is located on your land. Oh, well, yes. Why do you ask? I am an antiquarian, Mr. Bryden. I'm writing a volume on the Barrows of England. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting to dig about it. If at all possible, Mr. Bryden. I was invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who told me such an excavation would be possible. Leonard Shoulder? Ha! I haven't seen him in years. The last I heard, he were on death's door. Really? Be no more digging there, lass. Not since it went so badly last time. Last time? Was there a previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow? Aye. My brother dug it up. Must have been, what, 25 years ago? You see, whatever he found inside, well, it drove him mad. Oh? Aye. I moved back here to look after him. Lovecraft, Dan? bastard hanged himself not long after. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Bryden. That's terrible. Aye. Time passes, but it were an awful thing. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Bryden. I live here with my wife. I might be long in tooth, but I can still run this farm without too much help. What did your brother find? Samuel. Samuel were his name. Sorry, what did Samuel find in the barrow? I don't know, but something went wrong. Afterward, he could barely speak. You couldn't make out a word like... That must have been hard. He lost a hand in that excavation too, you know. Goodness me, how? I try hard not to speculate on what might have happened, lass. I'd see him disappear into that barrow, dragging timber in with him. You'd hear him hammering away for hours. I offered him help, but... You'd have none of it. Soon enough, he'd blocked the entrance off. To look at it now, you'd never know the thing we dug up. The land has reclaimed it. I love when he said his name. That's what he found. I'm like, he found someone named Samuel. Was that was that it? Who else was involved in the excavation? Two others, I believe. Outsiders, perhaps. I can't say for sure. I think they left town pretty swiftly afterwards. I lived in Bakewell at the time. I only moved back here to look after Samuel. I took over the farm when he passed away. I see. What can you tell me about your farm? Samuel's fair to side. We're a fortunate family. The soil is fertile here. Crops grow without too much trouble. All the other farmers around here raise livestock. Even Lord Panswick. We grow feed for them. Most fortunate, Mr. Bryden. Is your wife home? She's out in fields, lass. Pulling weeds. The curse of such fertile soil. <laughs> Forty years we've been married. I couldn't do it without her, you see. How splendid. Aye. My wife is a fine woman. Are you married, lass? No, no. I've had my fair share of proposals, Mr. Bryden, but that's not the life for me. Marriage is an important institution. You'll find a man one day. Hmm. I manage rather well without one, Mr. Bryden. You haven't seen Mr. Shoulder for some time? I hear about him now and then, but it must be a good few years since I set eyes on him. He hasn't been here to visit Hobbs Barrow? Not to my knowledge. I heard he's beset by ailments. Don't leave his home often. Hmm. How odd. I assumed he'd spoken to you about my visit. Not at all. I'm very suspicious of Mr. Shoulder. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? He keeps us going. Most of all, crops go to feed his animals. What is he like? Oh, I've hardly laid eyes on him. He sends his workers here to pick up the crops. I see. You say Mr. Shoulder is at death's door. What exactly ails him? I'm unsure. It's just what I've heard. I wouldn't want to speculate on matters that are not my business. Probably what are we found in freaking Hobbs Borough. Mr. Bryden. May I please have your permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow? No. Have you not been listening, lass? Samuel found something in there that's best left to rot. 
No digging here, lass. Well. Wouldn't you like to find out more about what Samuel found in there? Wouldn't you like to find out more about what Samuel found in there? Perhaps. But Samuel boarded up that barra for a reason. You don't want to tempt the same fate, lass. Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow? Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. I suppose you've come a long way to be here, lass. All the way from London, Mr. Bryden. Hmm. Have you any proof of all you've told me? Proof? You wish to see proof of what, Mr. Bryden? I can't let any Tom, Dick, or Harry wander around me fields. What proof have you of your claims? Thanks for your time. Ta-ra now. Here is proof that Mr. Shoulder invited me to Bewley in order to excavate Hobbs Barrow. This doesn't look like his handwriting at all. Leonard making bold promises, I see. Don't make me regret this. But yes, you can have a look at it. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm going to excavate it. Once you've set your eyes on it, you won't be wanting outdo with it. The place gives one a queer feeling. So where can I find it? Through that gate to your left. Just head straight across the top to the field there. After ten minutes or so, you'll see Barra. Sit on a hill ahead. Thank you again, Mr. Bryden. I really do appreciate it. I'm surprised he wasn't like, you'll need to find it on your own. I ain't telling you. This is not mine to take. The empty bucket smells of rancid milk. Ew. Wash it. What a wild looking thing. <laughs> Easy girl. I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. Like, it can't reach you right there. Here, is it want a worm? I should leave the goat alone. Okay, fine. Doesn't want a worm. Nothing like getting your shoes all muddy in a field. I probably should have brought my umbrella. Perhaps I could take a closer look. A R R. Did a pirate write this? A R. I haven't a clue what that could be referring to. A pirate, hello. Finally, here it is. Hobbs Barrow. Indeed, a barrow of a most unusual rectangular form. I've not seen something like this since West Kennet Long Barrow. Yes, this shall make a fine entry for my book. What secrets do you conceal, I wonder? Touch it. I was just joking. Don't touch it. That smell. Earthy and sweet. Hobbs Barrow. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Yes, Daddy. Capital. Make sure you remember oh, does something happen to him you. during an excavation? I have a feeling you might find something special. How exciting! I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck! Thank you, Daddy. Thomasina, we don't dig with our hands. My bad, Daddy. Nothing 
nothing here. No treasures here. Daddy, where are the treasures? Papa? little bird your first successful excavation that urn you're holding is very old and precious take good care of it all right it has your I grandma's will, ashes in I it promise. don't drop it In good time. What else we gotta do with it? That's a peculiar idea. I mean, I don't know, lady. We gonna lick it? I do have a feeling there is something exceptional to be discovered here. I must gain Mr. Bryden's permission to excavate. Well, here we go. Walk back through the muddy field. At night. Darkness falls quickly here. I should make my way back to the inn. Oh, this is this is great. I know someone's there. No one here. No, there is someone there. Look up. There is a light on. 